This video covers new ways to work with hype using a iPad and an Apple Pencil. We're going to talk about a new feature called Sidecar in macOS Catalina and demonstrate line draw animations, shape morphing, and creating motion paths with the Apple Pencil. To turn on Sidecar, go to your preferences and click Sidecar. Next, select your device from the drop down menu and you should be good to go. Then you'll have Hype running on your iPad over Wi-Fi. You can then do normal things that you would otherwise do on your computer with a mouse. You can do things with the pencil like drawing line draw animations. It's just a little more fun now that you actually have a pencil. These pencil lines, as you might know, create regular vector shapes, and you can of course edit them when you're done. To morph between two shapes, you're going to follow the same steps you would on your Mac. We're going to double click on the original shape, hit record, and then change the shape or create a new one. We're selecting the pencil here and drawing an entirely new shape while we click record and this automatically creates new vector path data. So we're bouncing from that original path to our newly drawn path, drawn on an iPad. You can also work with the timeline directly and copy keyframes so we can copy this initial path data, jump to four seconds, and then select edit paste to bounce back to that California shape. It's also great for creating hand-drawn motion paths. So we want to animate this fish going from left to right. I'm going to start by creating a regular motion path, just selecting that animation line and dragging. And that gives us a regular motion path. Next thing we want to do is select the pencil and we're going to draw a new path that we want this fish to take. So I'm going to make kind of a bounce moving from left to right. We're not going to need create line draw animation so I'm going to deselect that. Now that we have a new vector shape, I'm going to double tap on it to get to vector mode. Now you can see we have the individual components of that vector shape. I'm going to select edit copy and then go back to the fish, tap on the motion path, and then select Edit Paste. And what this does is it puts the vector path data right onto that motion path, and you can see it takes effect. So this is a great new natural way to create motion paths with the pencil. You can use the free Hyperflect app to preview your document on a separate iOS device. Just select your device from the drop-down preview menu. Hype has always had the ability to preview to other iOS devices through the Reflect app. But the fun thing here is that the iPad is an iOS device itself, so now you can preview for mobile right on the device you're working with to speed up the workflow. So that's a few new ways to work with Hype on your iPad. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.